Hey, hey everyone. everyone! Welcome to today's exciting challenge for you to discover engineering. We're diving into the world of mechanical engineering. We're going to apply the concepts of force, energy, and motion to both our very own arcade games. That's right! Our goal, or success criteria, is to build a game using a catapult, which can launch objects towards a target to earn points. Your target needs to be at least 12 inches away from the catapult, and the catapult must be able to launch objects repeatedly during a two-minute round. The more times you hit the target, the more points you'll get. Okay, so what is a catapult? Catapults are simple machines that launch objects forward by turning potential energy into kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy stored in an object. It has the potential to become another form of energy if you change something about its properties, like its position or the forces acting on it. Like when a catapult arm is pulled back, the tension and potential energy increases. And kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Like when you release the arm of the catapult, its potential energy turns into kinetic energy and is transferred to the object being launched. That's what causes it to propel forward. To house your arcade game, you'll need a cardboard box that is at least 12 inches long. You'll also need small objects to launch. We're gonna use pom-pom balls, but you can get creative and use whatever you'd like. Leave a comment down below to tell us what you decide to launch. While you're there, hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe for more engineering challenges. You'll also need a container to hold the objects being launched. Try brainstorming some ideas. You can use sauce cups, bottle caps, or spoons, just to name a few. And there are endless ways you can construct your catapult using everyday items. Just keep in mind that all catapults need to have three essential parts, a stable base, a launching arm, and a source of tension. And don't forget to use the engineering design process to test and improve your designs. Yep, don't expect to make the perfect catapult on your first try. Experiment and ask questions as you go. Each attempt will teach you something new about how to improve on the next one. Now let's get to engineering. So earlier we were saying how catapults need to have tension, right? What are you thinking about that and mm -hmm. the design of your catapult? I think I'm gonna use rubber bands to add tension and then create use a spoon to like create like a mechanism to push it forward like they did in old times. <laughs> I'm thinking of using a lever as part of my design. I think a, one of these popsicle sticks along with maybe a bottle cap or a sauce cup could help transfer the potential energy into kinetic energy for the pom-pom to go. So do you want to get started? Yeah. So now I'm gonna try to attach the spoon to the vase if it'll stay. Okay, I think I have these two stands. Okay, I just gotta to think of, of yeah, a way to connect them. Let's see if it launches. <laughs> I think we have a little. Okay, do you want to do a something? test run? Yeah, okay. let's test it out. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Do you want to slide this up a little? Yeah. Let's try a different placement here. The other way. Or this yeah. way? Let's try this way. Okay. Let's give it another run. Oh, okay. I think I like that one better. <laughs> so for mine, I made a little base with popsicle sticks. It's like a wall and then I added this to like keep it flat. And then I used rubber bands and glue to hold it down and create tension. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the catapult part that shoots is the spoon. Well, my catapult consists of mainly popsicle sticks, a straw, and a sauce cup. And it kind of uses a lever mechanism to- Like a seesaw? Yeah. I think we're ready to get into the competition. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You're going down. Oh, am I? Okay. Three, two, one, go. I think you are. And there you have it, 
we used the engineering design process to design our own arcade games. That was a fun activity, so let's recap. Well, I mean, we started off by identifying the three main components of a catapult, right? Mm -hmm. So how is tension used in your design? I started off by using simply rubber bands to attach my spoon to the base, but that didn't hold so tight, so I added some hot glue, which worked well. And then I noticed that I couldn't put the pom-pom straight on the spoon, so I added a little cradle with electrical tape so I could hold it. I started out by placing this lever in the middle and then I thought that I could improve the range of the pom-pom, so I experimented with different placements. While I was trying this out, I felt like the base could be heavier so that it wouldn't keep you know, falling over itself. So I think that's something that I could improve in the future. I think my catapult worked really well for the target that we had, both the distance and the height. Mine didn't. I think it was just too powerful for the target now, but if I made it shorter or altered the angle, it might've been able to hit it a lot more easier. Thanks for joining us. We can't wait to see the games that you come up with. Make sure to share your creations with us on Instagram or Facebook at Discover e Org. Okay. You're going to start trash talking. Down. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen you like this.